Hi, and welcome to CastNet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. A young boy found a 29-year-old woman's body floating in Okanagan Lake by Gyro Beach last Sunday morning. The woman has since been identified as Caitlin Bradley, an exotic dancer who used the stage name Megan Guns. She danced at Kelowna's Liquid Zoo in Cheetahs, as well as at several clubs in the Lower Mainland. Her death has yet to be classified by police. Bradley has been mourned by friends and family online. One friend told Castanet she was an amazing mother, a great friend, and a beautiful soul, and said the dancer community has been devastated by her death. A 35-year-old man who recruited teenage girls from across Canada to work for his prostitutes in Kelowna in 2015 was handed a four-year sentence Wednesday. Simon Ripiak was arrested in the summer of 2016 and charged with 14 counts relating to a prostitution ring he ran in Kelowna, recruiting young, financially vulnerable girls on the dating site Plenty of Fish. Instead of facing trial on the 14 charges, Ripiak cut a plea deal with the Crown, pleading guilty to five of the charges relating to four of the women he recruited into the sex trade. As a result, the Crown and Defence agreed on joint sentencing submission of four years, and on Wednesday, Justice Alan Betton agreed. A Penticton vape shop was broken into and ransacked last Sunday, the second time the store had been recently robbed. Corner Vapes owner Justin Crystal posted an emotional video to Facebook following that morning. My whole life is in here. I don't have the money to fix this. I'm a good person. This week, the community showed up in a big way, donating almost $6,000 to Crystal's to help him get back on his feet after the robbery. Crystal, a father of three, told Castanet he's grateful for the support, and the money has changed everything. Vernon City Council decided this week that six cannabis retail stores is just right for the downtown core. The city has approved the 10 applications for retail stores in the city, four of which are downtown. Councillor Akbal Mund says the limit is not necessarily a permanent one, and they'll see if they receive any complaints once the stores start opening. A Kelowna cab driver was suspended this week after a driver reported him for distracted driving. Brian Podor was driving southbound on, southbound on Highway 97 near Orchard Park Mall when he was nearly sideswiped by the Kelowna cab. He noticed the driver was eating while he was driving. That is not tolerated. As soon as the email was received, when the manager got into the office, he looked into it and immediately our company policy is a one-week suspension. His chauffeur's permit is revoked for one week. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.